by the grace of God and I thank God again. Okay. Uh, when I will make my life, but then yeah, yeah I was too busy today. Uh, you know, uh, there was something that was calling me. Uh, to do some things, especially on my book in Lukuzana, in the kingdom now, and here the glorious kingdom here. Uh, so yeah, the the time that I'm planning, uh, the bigger Linda, your prophet. Yesterday we looked at uh, the apostles, and it was clear from onset when we began that. Uh, umpostoli, epo, stelo. Uh, epo means face to face with, mouth to mouth with, and then stelo to to send to go out. So an apostle then is an individual that was uh, received a direct mandate from uh, the sender, and uh, we explained just to recap and remind and refresh your memory. We 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 Hebrewic mind, especially the ID and ideology of postoli. Isuga gule concept ya shaliach. Shaliach sete kwagui stunya it was an agent. Eya isuga, you know, in Kabangul, in Jerusalem, with Sanhedrin. Then it tunyelo with the direct mandate to buti iso propagate the rules, the regulations. Uh, to the synagogues because at the time our synagogues were all over the Roman colony so were individuals then who moved from uh, the, 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 the Sanhedrin received our rules from the Sanhedrin and then they came straight to these Lukuzana, to these um, synagogues and they were officials in fact um, they were the ones that were allowed to pray in the locals and in the synagogues. Moreover, Sigasa Kurman Apostle Paul, we looked at the Apostle Paul. Before he you know, before he was converted, we it was clear to us that he was a Sheliach because he received Ama Lukuzana, he received Ama Ama directives from the chief priests and and and, 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 and the Lukuzana and the and the and the, and the Sadducees. So he was a Sheliach, he received the direct mandate from them. So the concept again, the concept of uh, the apostle Isugalab. So the the Shaliach then received Ilokuzana, a, a report from Isanhedrin direct, and in fact, Jesus nigili klu, la pa na go 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 Acts chapter one verse nine. My to when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, shall be my witnesses. I pray that it matters. Elisha, the one in the scene, look at the corner, very in the scene. Look Jesus, go John chapter three verse eleven. Skulumizindo, esizi bonile. Si fagaza, esizi skulumizindo. This is as you si fagaza, esizi desi bonile. Matos, still in the same way. And 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 mina now today we cannot be witnesses because we were not part, and uh, we were not there. You know, asquas guba ufagas. Uh, furthermore, there's a scripture, the Sanhedrin city, Bamgo, Bangesu, Fagaz, Nangekas, Leun, that was applicable to the first century apostles. Zibona, Abamgo, Bangesu, Lufagaz, because in Dababe Fagaz and Jungle Peter, and Maeshu, Lapayana, Gulokuzana, which have you verse 15 of Acts chapter 1, Ogutil, Gulaba, Ababe Natik, Sugela. Uh, in go see Puma Yahamba from the time of John until he was, he was risen up. Um, we are finally again, Gulen Gonzo, and be a witness. So then, uh, we have a specific attitude to witness the resurrection of the Lord. And we find when you go through the book of Acts, the apostles were testifying of the resurrection of Christ. Uh, then we clarified, and it was clear, I know, Uti. Kukwabanyi kubeni na mazi zinyoti shelele zi. Masiti upaula 
was the last apostle. And it's clear what he saw the Lord, according to First Corinthians chapter number nine, verse um, one. My Bible's good. Am I not the apostle? Have I not? Am I not free? Have I not seen the Lord? And Sabona la twenty two. My Taza wa yenu guti. You know Ananias my kuluma na You know Magasugome. You know he shall see the just one, and and he shall. You know, speak, and he shall be a vessel. We shall speak of the things that he saw. You know, so obviously, Paul again, Sambona, Guti, we have about the apostle, about Lucifer, or Kalo Abonigosi, or about the apostle about twelve, or about the five hundred that saw him once, and then or about. James, and then he says he was seen by all the apostles because you know, with the 12th party, they were part of those who were really at the time with the Lord Yakumula, who to Uche Swain at 12 and then Abena 70. Um, uh, you know, th these guys make up that number. So he speaks of himself. So he is the last of the apostles. In fact, Uti, I am the least of the saints. In infringement. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Around, you know, Paul calling himself the least. Of, of 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 the saints you know yeah and and, and my emphasis is all was the apostle paul was not just the last apostle he was the least you know in a sense that in a kamala keliti paulus they showed the little one so he was he was the little one in fact so he was the least of the saints and we have a zagel upon which you know by the grace of god he is what it is and i want to deserve good apostle for he persecuted the church of god and all of that so um and then right now i am not the apostle i cannot be apostle and no one can be an apostle today because there's only one apostleship that remains it is the apostle it is the apostleship of Christ, according to Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Christ to be the apostle and the high priest of our confession. So he is the one who is the apostle. So song is an apostle apostle because he is the one that witnessed the father. He is the one that sees the face of the father. He is the son of his love. He is the son of his chest. So he was sent by the father to reveal the father to us. So he is an apostle to us. So he, he, he in fact, to John chapter 1 verse 18, not him, no man has seen God at any time, but his son who is at his bosom. Mose, glory. Kayawe, the Payana Gulukuza, and the Gugu Gugu, Exodus chapter 32. And we always said to him, No man can see me and live. So, Ekine Nibam Jangisi back. Yet, you know, Ugu Yeshua, go Christ, you know, Christ, Kutiwa, he is at his bosom, he is in his bosom. So, he sees the Father face to face. So, Ubaba, why Sim Tuma? You know, Ab Epo. Stella was him tumor, you know, and in John 17, verse number three, okay, this is eternal life, so that they may know you true living God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So, Christ is our apostle. And most people, this is my observation when I look at the so called apostles today, most of them they don't lead us to the apostle. Which is Jesus Christ. It's, it, it's always about self importance. And well, you see, Mo Pegaba Postoling is a quota. La Pana Corinthians chapter 5, Mank verse 15, Paul Eversa. The, 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 the way he, was, he believed that God has put them. Young as, as the spectacle of the world. It is as though we language. I said in the sign, it was as though uh, God has released them. We have a poor South Ecology and Emma Roma. We go to be eaten by lions. We are the spectacle of the world. We have no place to sleep. We are weak. We are foolish. Yet you are wise. That's the exhortation of the of the church. We do, we do not have place to live in. Our apostles, they sacrifice their lives for the sake of the saints. I mean, Upaola, Ebanthen, Lassi Corinthians, for example. You know, when you look at the, him in the church of Corinthians, you know, La Pana, Second Corinthians chapter 8, to our war of Pila Manyamaba and Langu receive the honorarium, but Gule Laban Talelani, he worked with his hands, you know. Um, this is the apostle uh, sacrificing his life. But when you look at today's apostles, you realize with most of them, you know, they live out of 
you know, people, you know, they cannot sacrifice their lives, you know, they live comfortable lives, yet they want to, you know, put on uh, the facade and the title of the apostle. And you, 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 on the on this note, you know, even these apostles who were with the Lord, who were witnesses, who did not call themselves Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, but but Paul and Apostle because they understood Ikama Eliti Apostle was not their proper name. It was simply their function. So in the Bible upon sometimes it's Okuluma, you know, Ngaba 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 prophet and Mastila Naba prophet really 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 we need to be very petite and we really need to be very detailed you cannot just you know you know bluff or just you know do whatever that we want to do or sibe sibe careless when we deal with this title we need to be very you know petite and detailed because to, for us to understand the prophet we need to go back to the old testament which there it's it's so misunderstood so uh, finally, clarify what going with Old Testament, then some is really with New Testament to understand in the apostle. I, I think it's been um, seven years now, Yekuluma and the Baleo prophet, and, and, and I had so many, you know, people about I'm controversial, you know, and all of that. You don't understand this guy, this guy who made an iron and all of that. And, you know, sometimes I believe it will be a day of reckoning where. People will see, would say, I'm not a vindictive guy. I'm using the Bible. You know what? Let's just study the Bible and study it in context. Let me start. The Bible was not written to us. It was written for us. That is very critical and very important with Bible interpretation. And go on and just my hermeneutics. Because we have the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's a way of escaping context you know because if bible was not written to you it was written for you you are right and 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 another 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 problem which i'll say is when people separate the holy spirit and the and the scriptures the holy spirit cannot be separated from the scriptures in fact the spirit utu paul all scripture is inspired so it's god breathed literally so you cannot separate scripture and the Holy Spirit. Once you do that, then you miss the whole gist. Okay? So you cannot separate the two. They are so one. Okay? You cannot separate. Because now, um, the scripture cannot be separated from the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit influenced the men that were writing, you know, the Bible. Now, the script, the Bible is not written to you. It is written for you. It means that the writers, the original writers who were writing the Bible were not really seeing me and you. You know, but they come with their or, or, original audience. They deal with specific things at a specific time in a context of a, a certain culture, which is not really ours, in a language that is not ours. So, you know, now in the 21st century, but the Spirit inspired the text for us. So the way the Bible was not written to us, directly to us, it was written for us. In our cover, most of the times, finally, we must beg the Bible, see, still beg, see, fun, umongo, walo, and the two context. We can see, show, and understand, so show, we don't study, um, when we do a biblical study, we don't um, uh, speak the, to the Bible, we we speak from the Bible. I think what, what I call my homiletics. Homiletics is really the hermeneutics. Hermeneutics is a study of Bible interpretation. Hermeneutics, it's an art of preaching. So you are talking about preaching then. You know, to the text, preach from the text, which is a challenge really. As as, as ministers of the gospel, it is imperative and important. The would say Shumail from the text. As Kale Remanje, Windabale, yeah, yeah, prophecy. Now, who, 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 look, Aristobalas, you know, with, with, with philosophy, we are at, you know, Uma Uzukala, a topic at let's start by defining, you know, the terms so that we could, we so that then Uzobakona, into a vulege, you know, in the subject. So I'm going to apply that. First of all, first define what you know, prophet. What is a prophet? Now, we we understand now, with the Old Testament, the Palong is Hebrew. 
Ah, you know, these preachers by stand this Hebrew. No, we understand. No, not that we love Hebrew, not that because Hebrew is, you know, a holy language or it's Greek is a holy language. We use these languages because these are original biblical languages and masfuna makama ne 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 close meaning of the words. We need to go back to the original, okay? Not that we are fencing or trying to, you know, show boats with with Greek or good say, this is how much we are learning. No, that's not about it. It's about finding um, the chest of the words, the the very core of of these words. Okay. Now, as very Gamaliel prophet, the Old Testament belongs in Hebrew, the New Testament belongs in Greek. So, the Gamaliel prophet, the Susela e Gamaliel, the Greek e Unabi. Okay. Unabi, the Susela we root word, actually a Unaba. Unaba, we should to boil out. Okay. Boil out as in speaking forth. Okay. So. Prophet, Prophet, it means to speak. Naba, it means to to speak, to speak out or to speak forth. Then, basically, Nabi, then becomes the mouthpiece of, or the the speaker, the spokesperson, on behalf of. Um, the example lesson I end, I'm to show you. In the Pana Gulokuzanagu, Exodus chapter number seven, and then, 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 uh, good chapter, chapter six, we find Moses. You know, he complains and he says, and, and Yahweh is sending him, and he says, No, I am a man of uncircumcised lips. And then, uh, Yahweh, we am Pendula, go chapter seven. Let's go there, chapter number seven, Exodus chapter number seven. I guess somebody said Exodus chapter number seven, okay. Um, now chapter 7, which the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Okay, which I have made you a God to Pharaoh, and I have made your brother a prophet. So, which is the first thing that we have to be a prophet. So, the prophet is going to be a prophet. The prophet is Moses in this instance was going to be Aaron. So Aaron, why he spoke person? Because why Kali le la paya na umo se chap verse eight uti ye na he is of uncircumcised lips. So chita kwa zukulu magas. He cannot speak. Um, amanya ma associations ati umo zis was stuttering, so he could not speak well. So who said to your kings of usumpo enui? Who go to abe prophet? So he will speak. He will or he will or he will be your orator. He will speak on your behalf. Right, so that's a prophet right there. A prophet is a speaker. Um, prophet is a speaker of of, of a, any individual. So it's prophetess in the 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 Greek. You know, it's a prophetess. So prophetess again is is, is he speaks. He speaks forth. We are Kuluma. All right. So that's that's a prophet. He's a speaker on on behalf of. All right. The first time I, I remember, so that's a Kuluma a law of first mention. Okay, I see explain it in the valley, a law of first mention. A law of first mention, it falls under a hermeneutics. And with hermeneutics, a law of first mention, it is when you find ambiguous areas in the biblical text. So to avoid, you know, that the scripture will collide with each other, we then apply long tetectua, a law of first mention. A law of first mention, it is, you know, Uma utila with a certain subject, you go. Let me jump on shilo. You find among nama ambiguities. You go la kona le kamale lo tila nalo. This session is the first time, and and in the last session is where the first time the introduction of the text is all kubega all throughout. You know, should it sense the understanding ele lo kamale lo is all kubega all throughout. So he learned that sibi zong tu aleo in law of first mention. Now, the first time Sibona Ikama Eliti prophet, Silbona Lapana Genesis chapter number 22. And the first person who is called a prophet, it was Moses. Moses was called, um, sorry, not Moses, sorry. It was Lokuzan, um, it was it was Abraham. Well, Abraham, you know, we are in Obizong Tua, he is the Lokuzan, he is the prophet. And in fact, Siaktola Lapuguti, God says to him, Kuruma Negosi, Yaksa keep it. Uh, where these things, you know, magicians were, and he says, you know, uh, return the man's wife, you know, for he is a prophet, he shall pray for you. So then, uh, 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 the association of a prophet, he associated with the first time he's born, he's associated with prayer. 
So Abraham is the first one who is on tour. He is a prophet. I can call him a man. He can get him. We learn about your prophet. Let's deal that issue there. Young prophet and about prophet and all of that. Now, to understand the subject, the biblical subject, um, I always say this, and and, and most of the times we we we, we miss this. Well, whatever she is, yeah, yeah, shaga cool land. And must find the Bible. And Ishaya even the people who are careful not be find the Bible. Yeah, but now once one understand that once was shy, one understand that then they tell you Torah, you need Torah, it Torah. I'm a five books of Moses, the book of Genesis, the book of Exodus, the book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Numbers. These books are the first books of the Bible which are called Moses. Once um, Moses is shy. It can be taught by the religious teaching. Once you Moses work shy, you know, you will fully understand the biblical text because he has been entrenched in Moses and has been established in Moses. You know, all throughout the biblical text. Why that I prophet? I mean, these ages, as a funda, I believe, for example, must funda about former prophets, Amalata prophets. Young Galendo is found, you know, Moses. Moses, you are called the coming of the Messiah. Moses, you are called the rejection of the Messiah. Moses, you are called the rejection of the Jews, you know, in the in the covenant of Yahweh, the accepting the 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 the, the locus and look accept our Israel into the covenant. All these things, Moses, you are called the all these things Moses speaks about them. So once Umisa Umosa again, you miss the whole biblical scope of the redemptive narrative. Young Kelendo is a child. So Moses, we are in our set up the pace for everything. So Zogbona Loko, you are still another prophet. Okay. So um prophet, you know, a simbona pipelini, you know, what ala or important. In fact, he is not just a prophet. Yes, he when the element your prophet, he is called the mediator. Moses loy. Okay, so Kuluma ng sin scat must still and what my head bear must cool my mediate. But it must be Moses. So Moses is not just an ordinary prophet and 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 and, 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 and uh, Yahweh said it very clear. La must be la pagun numbers chapter number twelve. Uh Sibona, you know okay, we understand Guti Lapa excuse me, good chapter fifteen. So it was called a prophetess. Um, you know, Aaron, obviously, uh, the when he gets a priest, you know, the high priest would, would have represent this is Israel before Yahweh. Now, these guys, uh, you know, they blame Moses because almost why he shot them, the Ethiopian woman, and must fund the Flavia Josephus. She had told you to Moses uh, during his cut, as I said, look, the name is a as a secret, you know, growing in Egypt to go up and ever with the Ethiopians. So he took a woman and he got married to that lady uh, during that time. So my poor Messiah knows the poor already, he had already had a wife. So these guys blame Moses, or what you know, he he has an Ethiopian. Wife. I think the assumption is that you know who can ama regulations I got the Obey concerning Umshato. Umuti Aban Ba Israel Gok Fan Lebanga Shati Aban Bezizo. But here now these guys are, are, are blaming him. You know, okay, then says of Fundas, Maskal Fundala, so Fundak verse 4. And the Lord spoke suddenly unto Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. These guys are blaming Moses. So we are our attendant, our tat. And you know, come out, you three, into the tabernacle of the congregation. And the three came out, and the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood at the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they came forth. Now, let's look at this. And then he says, and he said to them, Hear my words. If there be a prophet among you, okay? Last is your bona guti. We are entering to again. Like, we saw it's a miso supra. We should be we are playing like he's revealing what is of Waba prophet to Israel, okay? So there would be a, a rise of prophets. In Israel. So Useti, hear my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known to him in a vision. Okay? Last Tola Konika Miti Roy or Rai. Yeah, ma 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 kubega upega la pani ngoti nika first Samuel chapter nine. Aba 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 prophet babizong tua ama nabi rai. 
Okay, they are the seers. Let's just go and see a seer, a rai, or a rai from, from ra, which means vision, you know. So, vision of sight. So, uti, 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 uma evusa um prophet part go when he rises a prophet among among them so i the lord will make myself known to him in a vision okay so uso zenza ukuthi as babazi bamazi in a vision and i will speak unto him in a dream so aba prophet bazo uzo khuluma nabe in a vision akhulume nabo futhi ephushweni ukuthi my servant moses is not so who is faithful in all my house ukuthi ke kumoseke umoseke nje you know akaya akaya konjalo ngokuba umoses ufaithful endlini yakhe siyayikhumbula le quote elapha yana ku Hebrews chapter 3 isuselwa la okay verse number 8 ukuthi with him i speak mouth to mouth even apparently not in dark speeches and in multitude of or in multitude of the lord shall he behold wherefore then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses Moses was not like other prophets umose why ngafana abanye aba prophet umose you know god was not speaking to him in visions god did not spoke to him in in dreams he spoke to him you know mouth to mouth so Moses is the different prophet. So sesha bona gela ukuthi God is setting a pace. Ukuthi okay aba prophet, you know, mabeke kuvuka bazo kuluma in visions. And mabeka ngempela if you look at the, the the former prophets and we are using this word former prophets and I don't want to lose use it in a seminary way because most seminaries mainly focus the former prophets and the latter prophets but you know the former prophets babala from Joshua um you know <clears throat> from Joshua until um, you know Samuel and then bese baqala bathi amalatha prophets aqala lapha kolo kuzana ko Isaiah towards Malachi I'm not going to use that because uh, we inter from internal evidence ya thola u Zechariah 1 verse 4 uh, my kuluma ngama former prophets ukuluma ngaba prophets who prophesied pre-exilic you should be before his cut sir before his cut abantu abantu abaka juda noma is the southern tribe of juda it thing is 586 bc so the, he calls them the, the 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 former prophets so they were the previous prophets and them the, their contemporaries ukuluma ngoza karaya ngomalakai ngohagai he calls them the latter prophets so these were the latter prophets now must be a bonke laba prophet laba they had visions babe nembono they had dreams i mean tolilu haba kukla pano kuluma ye vision lapa chapter 2 i i see a motivational speakers have adopted that to many vision of individual but in context lapa nama kuluma ye vision ukuluma lapa nama ye vision that yawe umbono it's sight where god reveals to a particular prophet abone something abone oracle concerning israel so here we see uti all these prophets were, you know, they saw a vision, you know, they in Akobabe Ramarais, they were seers and 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 they were dreamers, yeah kumbu no Samuel Nai, Ugutin Katele, there was a voice, you know, he could not understand. you know, and they were pinned to Hambola, a lot of pinna, a lot of pinna little or statue. Then if he came back and Ulokuzana obviously because he was acquainted with the voice voice of Yahweh. Why said again, no, Uma level voice le eighteen that food to say unto the Lord uh, your servant is here you know and then he did it and that was the first time uh, in Gose Kulumana. Now um so looking I will be constantly repeating myself once you miss understand the Torah once you miss understand the Mose you will fail to understand the whole biblical uh, you know narrative or scope uh, Masia la pana go lokuza na go to show no chapter number eighteen again. Uh, Siya boina futi go miss what nini da prophet chapter uh, eighteen verse fifteen. The Lord your God will rise up for the a, a, a prophet in in the midst of thee. Now la akununywa ng 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 nabi lokununywa ng the prophet ya yeah, the prophet the nabi. Uti la na the Lord thy God will rise up the prophet among you. Then uh, of your brethren like unto myself. And to him you shall he can. So Utila Uya was of Vusa um prophet on Jenga Hami. Now Jobas Shilo Jesatum Moses was a different kind of a prophet. He 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 was of a different calibre. U Moses was not just an ordinary prophet, he was a different prophet. So who's of Vusum prophet on Jenga Pagat Gaba Foab. So Moses was a very 
a different prophet. He was a different prophet. He was unlike other prophets. So now, setting a use of some prophet, on Jengaye, Parat Goba Forab. I know what there are many people who have claimed to be this prophet. I mean, Muhammad. You know, some of the uh, imams, they go around claiming, which, okay, in, in fact, not from the Quran, in its opening, they claim uh, that this particular verse is speaking of Muhammad. And Muhammad is an Arab, he's not from Israel. They are missing the the, 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 the point, Lapo, because oh, Muhammad is not, he, he cannot meet the criteria because he's not from the house of Israel. In fact, he even came, Islam, if he gets 600 years later from me, Christian religion. So it's clear, you know, we can, yeah, you know, they just, it depends on the two exegesis, they all end up at the hero Jesus, but at the hero, in the biblical text, that verse has nothing to do with Muhammad. To Muhammad, again, in the text, uh, most recently, we have, you know, Amana Zareta inserting, you know, Ushembe. You know, and they say that yeah, na oh, 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 meet this criteria of this prophet. No, again, this particular text does not at all uh, has to do with with him. Again, na is is not the brothers of Israel. Like kunya ama tribes, our twelve are Israel. So this biblical text, first and in context, all things of Wusa. You know, rise up for you a prophet in the midst of your brethren, like unto me. Eh, you shall unto him you shall hearken according to all that you desire of the Lord thy God in Horeb in that day of the assembly saying let let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God neither let me see this gate fire anymore that I I, I die not okay this is Israel Yahweh mouth to mouth as chapter 5 verse 5 so they heard the word of Yahweh, Babelizo, audibly, you know, they were so f afraid and fearful. But Moses, humble Kuluma and I, we cannot bear the, the words of his voice. So Moses, or Hambag, or Bari present. And God is saying to him, you know, so Vusum prophet, he will rise a prophet like himself. Okay, so it's clear, who is a Vusum prophet like himself among his brethren. So this prophet then will be from Israel. He's not going to be from anywhere. The prophet, this particular prophet spoken of here will be from Israel. It will not be from, you know, Wazulu Natal will not be from, uh, you know, um, you, uh, I'm trying to find the area. Okay, well, it's fine. I've forgotten it, but he will not be in one of those places. Ulokuzana, uh, umprofet, lo, uyawa isomvusa, wa isomvusa among their brethren. So, is this is Ishumi, Nambili, the 12th tribe here are here listening to Moses and they hear him very clear and this is a bona lady to go to my kulumangalum prophet who is he talking about all right so this is a bona lady he is he talking about let's let, let's continue and then it says um and the Lord said unto me they okay the Lord the Lord said unto me they have spoken right that which they have spoken I will rise up for them a prophet from among their brethren like unto you, and I will put my words to Belapo in his mouth, he shall speak. So, so the prophet, so he will put the words. Remember, he, 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 he definition of the prophet from the word na, naba, a spokesperson, a one that speaks on behalf of. And he says, concerning this prophet, I will put my words in his mouth, he shall speak unto them all that I have commanded him. He shall speak all that I have commanded him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will inquire it of him. Right. So, Kunya Langum Prophet Igela, as we, we, which you know, Ulokuza in Acts chapter 4 confirms it. Sazo Kuluma Ngayo in detail, that particular text, Masaskala, says Kubega and another prophet. Siabonu Guti, Upita is clear when Emile in the beautiful porch, and he, he does confirm, Guti, okay, God shall rise up a prophet from among your brethren, okay? Um, and like, like to myself, okay, you have confirmed, Alapupita Guti, let 
particular text was speaking of Christ. Christ was that prophet. And was that prophet that Yahweh put his words in his mouth. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Hear him. Because he had placed his mouth. He has placed his words in his mouth. So he was speaking on behalf of his father. He is the one that fits this prophet, this, this prophecy. And it's also born and local as we continue to read. Okay. As I'm going to say, I'm going to Sorry, go, 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 go verse 18. I'll rise up a prophet among uh, among your brethren, like unto un, like unto you. And he, I will put my words in his mouth. He shall speak unto them that which I commanded you. Verse number 19. It shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which... He shall speak in my name. I will inquire it of him. Except you can't find it, I will, he shall be cut out from his people. So the person who shall not hear this prophet uh, shall be cut out among from his people. As soon as verse number 20, except you can't learn. It's, that's an Old Testament Greek translation. Now, verse number 20. Uti, but the prophets which shall presume again, okay, if the prophet shall presume to speak in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or shall speak in my name, in the name of other gods, even the prophet shall die. Okay. Now, Moses, you know, God is telling him, okay, as when Israel, you know, Mark Vum prophet, you know, you know, that prophet among the people of Israel shall die. Again, Sabona, Gishilo, and Igbalegila in Moses in the Torah and Trench in history. The history of, of Israel is already set. Okay? Now, who's of whom prophet? And if this prophet comes and prophesies, you know, I'm a prophet in the name of Yahweh, you know, that prophet shall die. This is a bad prophet. Verse number 21. And it shall come to pass. Uh, okay, if you shall say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has, had not spoken? When a prophet speaks in my name, or in the name of, 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 of Yahweh, if the thing follows not, nor come to pass, that thing which the Lord has, has not spoken, but the prophet has spoken presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. He's answering, he's answering them and because these guys were saying, okay, God is attending to already what is in their minds. Okay, how shall we know then a true prophet? Okay, he's prophet about when Ekuluma Indo Kuluma presumptuously, you know, the people of Israel shall not fear him. So, Shabonagela, who took entrench in the day in Bila, who entrench with whom prophet will not only just speak forth, but will be predictive. Now, we get Asperis in the Zoo too, because it's a cell Old Testament. Um, it, it, then, Shabasasikalela, we with Torah, it, it, it sort of paves a way for us, you know, to see prophets like Jeremiah. I mean, you look at the prophet Jeremiah who prophesies about 70 years without, you know, being listened to. You know, I hear people saying, you know, ma umutu ma ineba ndelu kulu, le umutu loyo une influence. You know, and, 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 tabang umutu fano, prophet Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah was not heard by anyone. He was speaking the truth. And, 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 and is the prophet Omagwayo, Kakulugazi, Chronicles chapter 36. You know, I mean, Mount Pega, Daniel chapter 9. You know, Daniel is reading from Jeremiah. You know, he, he, when he had read the books, namely the book of Jeremiah, and Fundu Jeremiah 25, verse 10, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. You know, Kulumang is cut, is so ding, is Israel, which is precisely 70 years. And and the chronola, you know, in the book of, of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, confirms what in Belis is Israel, 70 years, until in Igor Cyrus, Iba keep Iba Busela back in their own land. Now, these prophets, um, about prophet, about fire, not Jeremiah. You look at the prophets like Isaiah. You look at the prophet like Hezekiah. Uh, uh, you know, these prophets, you know, and, and, and we know, who go to about prophets, Laba. But the prophet, um, he ain't the winning to gain. And what was he asked, Laba, and go to first king chapter 12. Who go to our tribes, got Israel, as you can, into two. He, he, Tribe of Israel, I'm a tribes of my ten tribes of Israel. Ahamba, nature, nature, help one by in the north. Then this is Saga Chut and South Benjamin Sasala, Sasala on the south. And 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 these prophets then had to then to be divided themselves. Simuswa, oh, Yeshua, etum prophet, a gazi was in Lagu. 
and in his own country. And now Mazulawa, wash so in, wash so good. You know, these prophets, some prophet also are in north. In most of the times, when a prophet in north, yes, Babako and a prophet Aranjad, but frequently, she are born good. Um prophet was in north, why sugar as a prophet south? Um prophet was south, why sugar south as a prophet in north? And as you are, is when Lagoba. That was the way in which the prophets were, were prophesying. Now, who can I think for good to see Magila, who love a prophet lover? When you look at all these prophets, when you look at all these prophets, even the latter prophets, the minor prophets, um, you will see that these guys, they were not just necromancers micro, mic, or or predictors. These guys were preachers of the law. They were seriously preachers of the law. In other words, they were repeating what had been already spoken by Moses. That's the first thing. If I, they were not just, they did not major on foretelling. They majored on forth telling. Most of the times in Dababe Kulum, Babe Kuluma Indo, very that was established in Moses. Moses had already put and canonized the law. In Moses, young king do canonize your Moses. Here example is when the lion. It's simple. That's actually Jeremiah chapter number seven. Um, I wanted to see this. Taba prophet Tabani, Babenga Zona, just is a news. These guys, Yonki Tababe Kuluma, Babe Kuluma, into on the basis of what has been already established to Moses. Asam the Sela Pagu, Jeremiah, chapter number seven. Mascalas Funda, Gifuna, Sikalas Funde. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. As California verse 20. Therefore, that said the Lord your God, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. Kulumang Jerusalem, upon men, upon beasts, upon the trees, upon the fields, upon the fruit of the ground. It shall burn. It shall not be cringe. Excuse me. 21. That says the Lord of hosts, the Lord of Israel, put your burnt offerings into your sacrifices and eat your flesh. For I spoke not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this thing I commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice. Okay, Uba Exodus chapter 19, uh, verse number 4. You know, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, right? Uti, this is what I commanded them that day. With that, I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I did not command them concerning a map and offering, but this is what I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and walk in all my ways that I have commanded you, that it will be well unto you. So, Abba Prophet, they were, Abba Prophet, they were not just uh, uh, foretellers. They were most, in most cases, yes, there was a foretelling part in their ministry. But she was casa, she was casa in a second. What was, what was it doing? But on on the major, the ministry Abba was more of foretelling. In other words, they were preachers. They were reiterating. They were saying. They were reminding Israel of the covenant that God made with them on the Mount um, Sinai, right? So they were confirming the covenants that were made with them when Moses was their mediator. So what they did really was to foretell, to bring back Israel to them, their place, you know, in the covenant. So the part of seeing, let's call it, you know, the, 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 the part of being predictive, that part and and it bale gile ukuthi sisi note le le part le predictor the predictive part had to do with them bringing the precise time because joba ngishilo nje ukuthi yonke ithaba beyikhuluma babe ikhuluma kumose and umose wayeshilo vele ukuthi abantwana ba Israel bazoribhela okay hama ufunda lapha na encwadini ya Deuteronomy chapter 30 32 when you read the last verse it's clear ukuthi you know what when you guys you know i will die 
you know, and you guys shall corrupt yourself, and evil shall befall you in your last days. last days lap with Achaim Dom in the days to end. So evil will befall you in your days to end. And and, and Moses is talking about that, and and and, and again we see you guti yebelabati o Jeremiah Isaiah be pro be prophet. They were prophesying at the time where Israel was in great apostasy. Okay, so Moses had told them and about Israel, would if they rebel against Yahweh, breaking our covenant, like, evil will befall them. They will be judged, really. They will be removed in the land. La pagu lokuza na gugu gule vetu kus twenty six. I think my phone go verse sixty eight. Ba chelo la pagu guti baso kisho amasangshu we rizabo aso destroy baso so in the land and the land will enjoy its sabbaths. So our prophet Ige la ba abelande la u Moses. They were in ministry. Abo was more like you are. It was it was a uh, 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 fault telling. So they were speaking what had been already been spoken. Moreover, bringing a precise time. Jenga yangu chiremai. Uguti kuzo wenzaga nini? Loku umozasa kuluma. So ni right now you are at the stage. You like onani repel against the law of Yahweh. Umagna tuwa na manje. Sasa stealing in the Old Testament repel. As kaka figuri New Testament. Sita sala ba prophet be tis ba bonai. Uba pege. These prophets are not. Really, uh, I don't know what lendo yabo yaba yenzayo. You know, by tatela, he ako you know mshambe ubungo ama because the prophet lobu of the old covenant we realize guti kwaku 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 it was foretelling and umma we 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 fought it was foretelling umma we we foretelling it had to do with you know precisely giving his cut abanda na ba Israel aba 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 bezo shulelo angaso. You know, so young kindo, ababe kuluma, ababe kuluma vele kindo. That has been already spoken. Kwa ngasi zoni za iza news. They were not, um, they were not, uh, 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 mechromancers. They were not, you know, predictors. They were not voodoo people. They were simply, you know, as we said, nabis. They spoke on behalf of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord. It is the same Lord that spoke on the Mount of Sinai. So they were bringing the people of Israel back. You know, to the to the to the, to the covenant that they had with Yahweh. So, the prophet Labo had nothing to do with just uh, predicting. And more bigger Labo prophet, but what about like? Well, I'm I'm speaking the truth. If you look at these prophets today, my message is Labo. They're always about money, always about cars, always about your future, your destiny, and all of that. And when you look at the Old Testament prophets, oh, their message was always said. It was always iai sale inga na matisegi. It was always sour. It was always you know judgmental. It was always hardcore you know it's always condemning israel that's why abanda bafana no 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 jeremiah a uh, tradition tells us that they were sold in skin in egypt they were, they were killed you know they died you know and the old jeremiah was put in the dungeon because umla is okay was not nice uh, yeah, because he was speaking to the apostate people. Why Kuluman Abandaba about the apostasy? So he was speaking right to them, you know, to their faces. So he born a prophet. So this was a a ministry. In Jehovah's born it was a ministry that was entrenched. La payana gu gu Moses and 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 who yawe go ke loko why Kulumi le ngako. All this thing why Kulumi le ngak. Yabona jingi zamu kavare shi yazo this kati. You know, singane gabi. You know, this teaching, you know, it's a very long teaching, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'll try my best to get in, get in, get alive until see the scope is pale in the understanding. You know, prophet, what is a prophet? Okay. So, like a prophet, they were prophesying. And I'm going to tell you about As these guys were prophesying these messages, I'm going to the grace, the, the goodness of Yahweh to speak to them in their midst. And, 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 and by the way, uh, they rebelled against Uyawe, obviously, and 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 La Pana Gu Amos, uh, uh, from the scripture, from the checker, and one is from the Yahweh, New Testament, and from the La Pago Amos, and my boom, because in Funa, who goes out with Katis Gamesai, who Amos, um, where is this verse? Uh, okay, who Amos chapter number eight, who verse number 11, here we go. So, 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 in the New Testament, I'm also chapter number uh, 8, verse number 11. Not behold, the days will come, says the Lord. I will send a famine in the land, not the famine of bread, nor the thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, 
and from the north, even from the east. They shall run to and fro and seek the word of the Lord. They shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint of thirst. They will, they will swear by their sin of Samaria and by the gods of, 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 of Dan. Oh, Dan liveth, and the men of Bathsheba liveth. Even they shall fall, they shall not rise up. Okay. Lana si bona i prophecy ka Amos. Amos is prophesying. Israel has been undermining the prophets. The prophets were sent to them. And these guys were really, really, really undermining the prophets. You know, really taking the prophets lightly. You know, they didn't care. Uh, doing their own thing. And oh, Amos is telling them, This famine will not be a famine for, for, for food and, and drink. It will be the famine of the word of God. Now, what was he talking about? Uh, who we can divide them into three. We call it the diaries of of David. Uh, we call it the you know, uh, you want to pre exilic psalms. We call it post exilic psalms. I'm a psalms now, you know, not not post exilic psalms. I'm a exilic psalms where I want to bag Israel. Vele sebesek tingsoin, and now they are writing. They are contemplating. And now they remember. No go to hey, you know, young king into your queen of Moses has befell us. I mean, how big and tender is Daniel? About Daniel chapter number nine. And umbo gele my tender. He quotes a lot of Moses. And we are also ashuk la makesis la wa queen of Moses. Um also I could mama kesis la pa na go 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 to turn on chapter um twenty eight. Now we'll have to go chapter twenty six. And and he says, oh, these cases have have befell us, have befallen us, you know. Excuse me. So we are trying to find we are penduga. We pendugue la yena na 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 bandu baake. So he he repents for him for himself, you know. And 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 na na bandu baake. Koko na ifest la engil funa yo. Um, you know. La ko na sa sbo na kuluma ne 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 kuluma lenda bale ye lo kuzana ye ye ye. Okay. Um. Ye lo kuzana. Yo 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 glambela yo glambela is gang gulung gul okay eh uh, okay uh, alright again kalak verse one gama boom oh thou Lord oh oh God thou has cast us off forever this is a exilic psalm Uti, why do your anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture remember your congregation which you have purchased of old okay kulo mangasisu sa Israel the rod of thy inheritance which you have redeemed this is Zion wherein you, you dwell. Lift up your feet unto a perpetual desolate. Even all the enemies have gone, have, have, have done wickedly in the sanctuary. Temples will destroy you. Thy enemies roar in the midst of the congregation. They set up a signs for signs. A man was famous according as he had lifted the axe upon the thick trees. But now they break down the carved works thereof, at once with axes and hammers. They have cast fire in your sanctuary, King Nebuchadnezzar. They have defiled by casting down the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, let us destroy them together. They bent down all the synagogues of the people in the land. We see, our, we see not a sign. Okay, that's where it starts. This is where this is where the famine begins. We see not a sign, as born in a sign. There is no more, there is no more any prophet. A second prophet. Now then they prophet there shall be in Dala in Dala This this has come. So God was not raising any prophets, but we know uh, in this specific in a specific time, he got Israel, exile. Yes, the prophets continued to prophesy. You know, not the prophets. In in, in fact, God continued to show Daniel Lama visions. Uh, of which then gives us another scope. Uguti lombono lona wafezega gupi nanga sipiskati. Lombono lona, in fact, ufezea nga lesiskati lesesiti. It is a, it is a, it is a, it is a, a year, oh, it is a years of great silence. That is 400 years between Methi and Malakai. So, ileskati lesi, esipagati kuga mateo no Malakai. 
Isona ke sikhathi ke leso okwahlasela khona imvula. No no no, no ife mine. Eh lesi sikhathi lesi is the 400 years between Meth and Malachi there was no prophet. Wangena prophet kongeke khona utho. You know in fact uh, this is the sikhathi this is spiritual. Eh it's a book of Maccabees. Eh Sipin the footy sis beguma visions of 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 Lokuzana of 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 Daniel Sipin the Sifunde of Levias Josephus Ibonabas niggas the scope of the things that were happening uh which wish history at the, at this particular time. So it's cut less so it's as he ha is cut send the scat send that is Ulokuzana Kulumas. So Gog is cut send Ayakum prophet or Ayakona. There was no prophet in the midst of the people of Israel. Ayakum prophet or Ayakona. Aba prophet Babe Valiwe. Um Messiah and Jemai figure I'm gonna send at the right time. You know, that is why Uchon my figure papatisa. Bonga man to Echutia and such Jerusalem. They came out to be baptized of him. And remember, what he ufiaga John John, who prophesy we, um prophet we, um um the 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 last latter prophet who look us anu Malakai, and he prophesy and I la pagu Malakai chapter three verse one. Which I will send my messenger. By the way, commit messenger is from it is from the Hebrew word Malakai. It's a messenger. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. You know so, and then and the then the messenger, the Lord whom you desire. Um, the messenger of covenant, whom you desire shall come. So, la po uchon wa prophesy utu zofiga. Utu zofiga before uh, the messenger of the covenant. Utu zofiga before the messenger of the covenant. Okay, obviously we know that as our Lord, that's the Messiah, that's Christ. He is the the the, the messenger of the covenant. The same messenger of the covenant. Ola pa yana Daniel chapter um, uh, uh, nine verse twenty seven. So yena go zofiga. So John comes then. When John comes. Israel, Sugela, Jerusalem, to Tutia, Beza, it sounds short, Dan Bazo Papatis. You know, and Abanding Mambuz and Buzo, are you the Christ? You know, Abaya Babuza, are you the Messiah? You know, or are you the Christ? Are you the Messiah? Are you Elijah? Funda John chapter one love. Then it denies all these things about 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 present again and this is what jesus especially my sebo shi uti from the days of john the baptist that's made chapter 11 the kingdom of god suffers violence and those who take it take it by force what was the messiah saying here he was speaking of the people of israel and this is cut this i use you know job as she know what is cut saying that there was no prophet, there was no oracle, and they were hungry, they were moving to and fro. Yinga kopela u mesaya, my se figa, u figa already segu kone aba farisi nabasachus. Aba farisi nabasachus, these are, you know, the groups that were not really put by the father. These are the groups, I funuk ofarisha uguto na we can give a solution to the test of the people. Because vela ban ba Israel, they were hungry. You know, for for the way. So these people were saying, no, we will give Sinasuzon Nigeza a solution in Baga Israel. In Akok John 10, verse 1, actually, those who do not enter by the gate are thieves and 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 and, and robbers. And finally, I say unto you, those who came before me are thieves. Oba and Lab, Abba Faris, Abba Sachus. Now, in your born and every time, Master Talili verse, who made you 10, verse 10, the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. In your born and Master Talili verse, to mean Usatan. That verse has nothing to do with the devil. Who came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Yes, they came to kill. Mark is clear. They were still, they were Lokuzana. They were taking widow's houses. You know, just you have an accuser for taking with it. So they were, they steal, they killed. Yes, obviously they killed U Messiah. They were going to kill our apostoli. They were going to kill the prophets that were going to be sent by God. Yeah, to destroy. You just saw my figure la pangens pass over. Oba tola, you know, by Daisan, you know. You just saw my la panuti destroy this temple. I will build it in three days. So they came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So our Pharisee, number such you see, Bonage, who are a thief, they came to steal, to kill and to destroy okay so messiah comes in the in the midst of that abandoned they are hungry so now that's why again you know they came for john you know with basil property so because in their assumption they think okay this must be the prophet who was prophesied by 
you know um you know um prophet of gile also later our um, solutions yes cuts up because school man about prophet i guess in lapa go so school man says so get a magic about prophet be new testament but for now i was six hundred percent get daily but i can see this thing is very long okay as i'm saying matthew chapter 11 matthew chapter number 11 uh Okay, John, John, the Baptist is is arrested, you know, and 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 Jesus, you know, is addressing the crowd now. And 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 it is telling them, you know, Sanda Bafund Bake Be Be Zubus, which is are you the one or should we wait for another petroleum report in a pana good? John and and which is so I'm going to tell you as I chapter 35 but as Kalila Pak verse number 7 and and as they departed Jesus began to say to the multitude concerning John what went you out in the wilderness to see a reed shaken with wind but what you went out to see a man clothed in soft remnant behold they that wear soft clothing are kings in their houses but what you went out to see a prophet, yeah, I say unto you, more than a prophet. Ah, oh. so what you know? Naya uyo wenzan lab, naya uyo wenzan. You know, did you go to see? Uh, you know, kuzana, you know, what what do you call this? Um, mshanga, onyaga zasegai. Oh, na hamba, na yobo na ilo kuzana, na hamba, na yobo na. You know, I'm a, I'm a coast. I say, I go in as a soft, you know. But it says to them, no. But you went to see a prophet who said, no, even more than a prophet. So, it's a bona gala, okay. So, uh, John was more than a prophet. Verse 10. For this is he of whom it was written, behold, quote Malachi chapter 3. I send my messenger before your face, which shall prepare a way before thee. Verse number 11. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of the woman, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Oh, Utkwaba Zelo Wesfazan, Ageko Omkuru, who know John the Baptist. Utkabanga Ababazelo, Ababazelo Wesfazan, Utkabanga, Makaba Fana, no Abraham, Kabanga Makaba Fana, no Moses. But now the Messiah is saying, Ayekom Kuru, who know John, not we, we hand, not we holding, we not we standing. He, he that is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. But Omnyan Mbuswe, why is Obam cool? Kuno Johan. Okay, now you're kill up on a cotal. Omnyan Mbuswe, why is Obam cool? No Johan. Verse 12. From the from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence are taking it by force. Now, Pegagela, verse 13, young Enzomakon. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. So, bonk about prophet, Abba prophet, ba prophet until John. Therefore, oh John, you are a greater prophet than M. Kul, Gwaba Zelo, Sfazani. Abba prophet, then ba prophet, you know, until John. So, John was the last prophet of the Old Testament. As, genwa ye, yes, cut, you know, uh, let me just pause here. Oh my abona gives off here go a prophet be New Testament. But um prophet or cleaner where old testament was John. Right? Now what's a figure um prophet loyal um Moses Akulumangai This prophet of Ananai, the prophet that is like Moses. So that prophet had already come. Now, this is Christ. Uh, so, so, you know, we are going to continue this. I think I said, I'm going to go to Wednesday. And I'm going to go to life. But I'm thinking, I will give an uh, exception. Uh, because I'm going to go to the next week. Next um, week, you know, or if possible, yeah, sit till now. I'm going to go to the next week. I'm going to go to the Well, um, yeah. So, as you may know, Let's just wait here. Um, prophet or queen? We're old. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, okay. 
okay I, I, okay let, let, let i think let me just give myself uh let me not be carried away because i have a family also uh let us give, uh, rush out 20 minutes yeah let me give myself 20 yeah 20 yeah, 20 minutes rush out 20 minutes in a so guys you will apologize so since i didn't extra time this is extra time i'm giving you extra time after this i'm gonna be done with this thing okay all right so christ then comes as a prophet that was prophesied by ulokuzana that was prophesied by U. Uh, Moses, the, the the great prophet, uh, like unto myself, and 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 it, uh, he, he he really meets all the standards. Zgamos, one of the standards. Zgamos, as a morning you meet as a prophet. I guess we're the you know, Deuteronomy chapter number the last. In fact, the last chapter. I guess born in Umesh Lugo part while on prophet lo, on prophet a kunya ngai. Umos, okay. Verse number ten, chapter thirty-four, verse number ten. And there rose not a prophet since Israel like unto Moses. As I look for one prophet, on jang Umos, on jang Umos go Israel like Moses in Israel, whom knew the Lord face to face. Okay, in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt. And to all his servants, and in all his land, and all that mighty hand, in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. I come prophet of Avuga on Jango Moses. So there was no prophet. In fact, let shows us what prophet was of Avuga or Fanani. He could not be Joshua because Joshua, in 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 comparison to Christ, why Ngalingan? He could not be, he could not, you know, he cannot be fixed. He cannot be put together with Christ, so with, with, with Moses. Now, umundo fitayo, you know, ku Moses. In fact, La Paco Hebrew chapter 3 is compared with Moses. We are no Messiah. It is the Messiah, right? So, Messiah, we are no fitter, the whole standard. Sigamos. We are no fitter. Kuso sonke standard. Let's see. Eskulu mangaso. Sigamos. I'm trying to bring the slide because now it's, uh, it's, evening now uh, all right so we are now we are now our own prophet he is the prophet that god was going to rise like himself oh. okay 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 how can i how can i do this uh, okay let's balance this out yeah 20 minutes and then I'm going to be done. So he is the prophet that then God rises. Um prophet of Fananai. We are now alone prophet lawyer. We are eyes on Vusa and this prophet, he was like himself. This guy is Kuluma Naila, Kuluma Ngongo Chesu Chesu is about miracles that he was doing. You know, in fact, Uzo Ucho on my pala Uti, you know, Maninga Ma Miracles, Uche S Awens are in the presence of his disciples, and most of them were not written, even the volume of the books cannot even fit, you know. And so Uche S we realized Uti did so many miracles to fit, you know, the criteria on prophet, you know. Or often no more. So he is the prophet that like unto Moses. So yeah, now, so the prophets prophesied until John. Right? Now we as kunumege shortling about prophet manje the New Testament. Let's speak about or let's talk about the prophets of the New Testament. Okay. Who Messiah we na osnigeza is scope concerning the prophets of the New Testament. La Payana Gu Matthew. Chapter number 23. Shazu Matthew 23. Who Messiah was condemning our Pharisees. Okay, Matthew chapter number 23. Uh, verse number 33. And he's condemning the Pharisees. Uti, you serpents, you generation of vipers, how will you escape the damnation of Gehenna? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you, watch, prophets. So Uti, I send unto you, who, who is he sending? The prophets too. He is sending the prophets to the Pharisees, which is the people of Israel. Okay, because I'm a prophet. Israel. okay? I'm sending to you what prophets and wise men and stripes. And some of them you will kill. 
crucify, and some of them you shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. That upon you will come the righteous blood upon the earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Pachariah, whom you slew between the temple and the altar. Verily, verily, I say, I say, all these things will come upon this generation. This generation. So I'm a prophet, as I was told, the prophet, the scribes, the wise men, wise of to this generation. This generation, in this in this generation, yale Jerusalem, the Bible, the prophet. In fact, the Bible, chapter eleven, who Messiah is Muzoeti, who prophet, Agafi, na pan the great Jerusalem. So Messiah, this prophet, this particular prophet, eyes of tunya specifically to the people of Israel. Right, this is Kuruma map, the prophet, the new covenant. Now, this takes us to the book of Acts. This will answer then us uh, in what is in the book of Acts. Um, you know, we find in what is in so it's characterized with the ministry or is colorful of the ministry of the apostles. It's the apostles who are ministering, it's the apostles who, who are who are who, who, who are ministers introducing ministry. Abo. But as the time goes on, chapter number 11, she introduced her window to two Agapas, who prophesied, if I mind, Eya is a figure, pairs well end, you know, and this fame mind, he affected the land of Israel. Jehovah Messiah prophesied in 24. Already there was fame mind in the land. Now, in the full of no, the prophet, this prophet was not foretelling. He was foretelling what will happen to Israel. But what I need us to see in New Testament is that though this prophet was for for foretelling, he is not really taken or is not paratorized in the New Testament. I got paratorized. As a matter of fact, in Bugali attitude, Gapaul and Lapanagu, I think X nineteen in where a tattoo in in Philip the evangelist. Uh, this this guy what a tunkatola ke walfaga, you know his belt. He put his belt around his waist and then began to say, "Oh, many guys walele bandele, and also harm by Jerusalem, a persecutor, you know, and and wara 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 wara." And we see the attitude of Paul to the guy. You know, he does not, he's not, uh, you know, shaken. He's not moved by the prophecy of this man. And in, as a matter of fact, he he goes, "Okay, yeah." You know, Anglin de like pena, you know, to to be persecuted in Jerusalem. I'm even willing to die. Okay, now, we all covenant, we all testament to prophet. She long at Baba Hambanes in the name, Baba Hambane, the foretelling, the foretelling on the major was foretelling. Just as it foretelling had to do with precisely marking, you know, that which Moses prophesied concerning them. And must be a new testament, she abon Akapas, and Akapas is a massive pillar in the book of Acts. Okay, Ukina Pela in the book of Acts. Ukina, that's where it ends. Yeah, Ukina Kona. Because in ministry, okay. And by the way, now I'm about to close. 20 minutes, so I'm going to You know, she's not taking you extra time. Because I'm going to be getting a deal. And then I hear you, yes, I'm continuing. Um, you see, the ministry, you have your prophet in the New Testament, that's it. He entrenched. No, no, let me not use this word entrenched. Le, le, le ministry prophet, he uh, prophesied about Joel 2. Mokal Funda Lapago, verse 14 to 32. And and we know to go to, and, and I'm closing, I want to close on a high note and make sure something to ponder. Uh, Joel, Uti, after those days, and Ukimchi, the great uh, Jewish interpreter, Uti, you know, Masbona Ulo Kuzana, uh, here after. Who correct? Peter is correct on the day of Pentecost. And, and, and you know, these guys begin to speak in tongues. You know, Bekulumang is lim and and Peter, they are skeptical, but no, these guys are drunk. And Peter, my ex Suguma, you know, these guys are not drunk as you suppose. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel in the last days. 
And I'm closing now. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit. And Lapo Peter is quoting from this Septuagint. He's not quoting from the Tanakh. He's quoting from the Septuagint. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit. Oh, Jalo must beg the last days, Tina. Says, born the last days of the end of the world. Can't we don't understand the Bible about the last days? It does not speak of the last days of the world. In fact, the Umas apply a law of first mention. La paya na gulo kuzana gu 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 gu. Um, Genesis chapter forty nine, verse number one. Uh, si tolu chago bukulu manamadota na ki. Uti, my sons, gather that I will tell you what will happen to you in the last days. I I chayim yom. What will happen to you in the last days? Okay. So la po i picture. I law of first mention is chelo uti. Is it so clear as it connected to the sons? And we know Utama sons Jagobe Akanda, the twelfth tribe of Israel. Right? So in Suzo Kina Zishang and Inab, Kwakso in their last days. Uvas ten us niggas clue. Uti the scepter shall not be removed from Judah, nor the ruler staff from Judah until Shiloh comes. Ika met Shilo, isho to him that belongs. Lana nyakong shilo at uma u shaiwe. The understanding yet horror. You must shy away understanding. We understand the most people belong to Selig Shail. Now, what is in the York Busa? You know, I look so good to go to Mbuso. So the Ujuta Mbuso is on the Yazwa Mbuso. It is as if Olokuzana Ujagobe was navigating through history and foreseeing what is in our children of Israel. So, Shugan. In fact, this is Israel. A Shugan in Guazo 7 to 2 PC must ding his war as Guazang Pindes Sisiri in state. As Angus Pindes was buoy. They were scattered. Among the nations, and some people say it's the Samaritans in Saliabo that came back. Jang over, oh, look who's an Isaiah one, Isaiah two, a professor. Um, go sing a shellang in Sal, we will be like Gomorrah and Sotom. You know, in Sal, the air sala, the Abuya, who second chronicles 30, eh, Giscati, who has a Kaya, ends up, he passed over. In, you know, reminding Israel of their covenant, he goes to Hezekiah, and 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 then. Hista si hamba, jesi hamba, isi susonga sa Israel, sa sazi wangu uti, isi susaka chuta. Umbu so umu wapo, the kingdom belongs to them. Now, uti kia uchu chagobe, umbu sa uyu kusuga kuchuta until Shilo comes. Shuti, lo until ushu kuti, umbu so usasande nsi ya chuta, wawuzo ngamuga upele when Shilo comes. So my kuluma pa the last days, aksia na kpele kuluma nga malas days, even Moses himself, u 32, the last chapter, Uti, you guys will totally corrupt yourself and evil will befall you in your last days. You see this guy, who should call this guy like, ay chayim, who should end yom days. Who should call this guy at a specific time like on this guy Israel, si zo pela uguba umbu so guy yawe, si zo pela uguba a special people. Lenda ye kulume, la pa yanagu Exodus chapter 19 verse 4. You shall be a peculiar treasure, a, a royal priesthood. Who should be a limited time. In a process, understand what um, Bible Kulumanga my last days then. Al Kulumanga my last days of the world. Likulumanga my last days of the nation of Israel being the kingdom of God. Now, Ucho El Mayeti, in the last days, I will pour my spirit on every flesh. And Sias Guti, good old covenant, Umoya, Waisela, kings, Waisela, priests, and prophets. But now, what in the last days, I will pour out my spirit. So, in so we let so clean now. In so so clean now, we zip. In let so Messiah is a fearless. Let's cut to Messiah is a fearless. That was the last days. Oh, my God, Corona man. He's saying, okay, this guy here, we are done. Okay, fine. Um, you know, even 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 Peter himself. Peter then comes here. Go look who's on the go. I think Peter chapter. Chapter three, in, yes, it's Peter chapter three. They got to send a vusa, yes, but send any cloud to me at the beautiful gate. Uh, you know, verse in California, verse number 22. Uti is, is, is testifying this, Utin, Utin. And Moses truly said unto your fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God rise up from your brethren, and like unto me, Kuluma, let the say Kuluma, Lapaya. Right, him you shall hear in all things, whosoever shall not, whosoever, okay, in all things you shall hear him, whosoever shall 
uh, whosoever he shall say unto you. Okay, verse 23. It shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed among the people. So, again, bus and bus. This is Osawa Israel, Samus, I know who Messiah at this time. The answer is no. Okay, they will be destroyed among their people. Yeah, yeah, all the prophets from Samuel. Is cut lapo. I can put Samuel Ilako Naba prophet about Kalubis on Gamarua, Gamarua. Okay, so yeah, all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as they have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. So la babon ke la ba prophetic so like Samuel ba be prophet and God lenses into Peter was telling them go to okay, care guys we are in the last days so lend I got the issue la pay na go X2 why so go no go to am last days I am last days as is us Israel see special people okay we go to landela us obona chapter 2 ya bona ba apostoli to chapter 6 ba focus at pela go see us Israel in fact at chapter 11 even when u lo go zano Peter se buyele eh you know emzini ya colonias u chapter chapter 11 verse 1 when they were scattered, as an abacumen and Uncomundi, even as an antrocast, Bakuman Abachut. All right, because the understanding Yabo, or would he cover and was belonging to Israel? But then in Suzabo's Okin, as I say, approaching. That day is as a special people were in count. Lesas Cartes, Anna, is Napo Daniel chapter nine. Mount Carofunda, verse twenty three. See, calculator is cuts of Pelaguabo. You go to the Nasaskat, you don't find this Master Sensor E class, the eschatology lab. It's in that time it speaks specifically about this cat sabo, so pale. So, Maskuluman in Zugs of Dinag. Si Kuluman in Zugs of Pella was seized of Israel, sing a band of a special. Now then, you will understand, you don't follow my happy, Rumay Pala, Upalela, Bona Futaba Juda, they had received the gospel. Uh, but now they were tempted to go back to the first covenant and its rituals. And now the writer is calling them with no Christ is superior. He is superior in every way. He is superior to angels. He is superior to Moses. He is superior to, jo uh, to, 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 to Joshua. Joshua that was supposed to give people rest. He was superior to his sacrifice. Gotcha, he is superior to the sacrifice. AI led to a temperin. Superior to priest. You know, and, and, and the new covenant which he and Acted is better than the the covenant, the, 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 the first covenant. So, the theme of that locusan, the theme of of the book of Hebrews, is solely based on the superiority of Christ. Now, my sector, by the way, says he he is not just. By the way, Christ is not just a, 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 an apostle. Now, here today, we discover that he is a prophet. Okay, he is a prophet and like Moses. Now, as we read in the Bible, Hebrews chapter one, verse number one, verse number one, that speaks of his ministry, earthly ministry. By the way, uh, okay, I guess I'm being negative. I'm afraid I'm going closing. Verse number one, who did God at sundry times and in divers manners spoke in time past unto our fathers by the prophets? And that's speaking of who did um pali gama heperu? Okay. At sundry times, we should in the previous times. We go to Kuluma and Delhi in Afghan. It is really nanga matuba mani, nanga in Delhi ni. So God, in previous times, spoke to their fathers. Well, by who? By their by by their fathers. Gama divers manners, you know. To the prophets, about prophet, I mean, my divers manners. I mean, who are born in prophet to Jeremiah, Chela, who go to Agaham, Ben Moon, you know. These are diverse manners which God will speak. Uh, um, prophet who has a kind of watch and who to dang, you know, to speak uh, to speak a message against this is Osaka Jude. So he spoke to them in diverse manners and 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 he spoke to them in, in, in diverse manners in time past by the prophets. But who said he? said Who said he? But in the last days, he has spoken to us by his son. In the last days, he has spoken to us. So Ungulungul at this time was no longer speaking to them by the prophets. He was now speaking to them by his son. So he communication yake. Why he say Kuluma? Again, Oh, Matthew chapter 17. Uh, Messiah at transfigured. Okay, my transfigured, he meets Ulokuzana, 
uh, uh, Moses, okay, so as Moses is a, is, a, is a great prophet, is a mediator, and he meets Elijah, okay, Moses, Moses and Elijah. And you say, for the law and the prophets prophesied until John, okay. Now, these guys meet, who um, Messiah is glorified. No, this is Moses. By the way, you tell us how to get him to another prophet. And it tell us about this. Who Moses? You need that song. Anisa, who Elijah? No Moses. In Taba, this is one mountain. In Taba, yes, it's in a Horeb. Who Moses established the law? Okay. In Taba, in Horeb, who Lokuzan Elijah accused Israel. Babegui apostasy, breaking the covenant that was established with Moses. So Elijah, Moses. Kushutlana, we have two things. We have the law, which is Moses, and we have the prophets. They meet the Messiah. They are coming to pay homage, you know. And who Peter, he can meet Peter, he show Petra, he show the stone, you know, uh, broken from Mount Petra in Caesarea. All right. So he said to Peter, Asakena Matogod. Elinye libe elako libe ngamama kama libe ya Moses the law elinye libe elga Elijah the prophets ebese linye liba elga Messiah you know young scope se redemption she driver sa figure lagu Messiah so se te elinye agube elake lagu Messiah kuti wa wasek vela i voice e vela zuluin iti iti this is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased, he hear him. Umo ulo kuzana. O o o o o Peter, why fun wenzan? O Peter, why fun wenzale? Why fun tata umteto? Why fun tata na prophet? Why fun tata na Messiah? Ogu yoyongi fulfillment igu ye. Aso ba tanga ni sabong and 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 when that voice spoke, the two of them anya malal. And who Messiah was saying? Jacob um pala mahe bruza setin. He said God at sundry times and in many ways spoke into our fathers by the prophets, but in the last days He has spoken to us by His Son. And God, since the last days, is not speaking to the prophets. Yes, I was pure so prophet. You know, stealing us or stealing us or properly, uh, I think, sas. But it's clear Uti Ungulunguru was no longer speaking now by the prophets. He was now speaking by his son. We in the kingdom of God do not need prophets. Why? Because we have Upita as it Utu Peter. You know, you got some chela about the coming of the Lord. Besides, I'm chela. I'm a fairy tale. Besides, we have a martial word of prophecy. It's pure so, it's pure so. Prophet Asa seven zero at this time, and Peter is is writing around early sixties, and he says we have the martial word of prophecy, which you do well to keep, which which shines as which dawns as as the sun in the morning. You know, then then basically, Omo imbenga sa akta bangu tumchambe upetu kulu mamesi his prophet. You know, and he says no. Um, you know, basically, 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 for there is no prophecy of the scripture that is of private interpretation. All the prophets, all the men of old, spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So the prophecy he was speaking about here was a prophecy of the scripture. Now, so Kurumak Sasa gets pure so prophet <laughs> in the New Testament. <laughs> and Paul Lapana, first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Uti no man yaban is pure so prophet. Nazi mysteries and understanding. You know, we don't like understanding. The gift of prophecy in the New Testament is a sebenza. Who can veil ama mysteries? Where ama mysteries? Ama mysteries whoop. Now, send seta standard for tomorrow. Lama mysteries lawa. I agree Old Testament prophets. So, um, prophet is pure so prophet. Sa Caesar to explain the fulfilled mystery in Christ. In a kogatu chesu, so to me laba prophet, wise men, and the stripes. That's why baby bade pants. They had to write down. Because it's pure so prophet. Sa sambula in vitlagalo. At that specified time in the last days. So, Umoya was hotel in the last days, and their sons and daughters were to begin to prophesy. And Gong, a local prophet, you know, by the infilling of the Spirit, in Jobumu, Uchesabachel, what Banga Kataze, good Bazo Kulumabatin, Mabe Soma Synagogue, for the Father will give them what to say, you know, Mabe, Mabe. That did happen, you know, because they were inspired. That's why they were inspired to write. 
the whole mundo and among human mistakes but these guys were given the ability by the holy spirit to not make mistakes in their writing and in their speaking sources of kubega sasa says kuluma ngaba prophetic gift of prophecy in the new testament we are no ones abanye babe aba apostle babe aba prophet and then bese sivala si rapha kamnandi ngokuthi ibandla lakhiwe kanjani phezu kwesisekelo saba apostle naba prophet you guys have let me i'm sure sing shaya emhlambe 2 hours you guys must have data <laughs> thank you so much uh, for being with me all this time yabona ukuthi you know i'm having one audience eloki keep in tune thank you so much abanye beni bayangi thinta abanye beni the keep on supporting you know i did not even ask for support but you guys you know you guys are, are pushing for your support thank you so much uh, i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that so much um ngosyo musa and that and qualisa may feel you um you know utum boso paul and god is able to make all grace abound towards you get being sufficient in everything um you may abound in good works because that's what god does you know he supplies for us so that we might be the blessing let me pray for you father we thank you for your word namhlanje ndambama siyabonga baba ukuthi sine mosho word of prophecy which we do well hold on father i pray for my audience even those lord who will listen to this uh, uh speech or this discourse or this teaching father i pray that you open their eyes you open their hearts in jesus name lead them to see more of christ because that's uh, he is the essence of everything lord may we see you more lord remove men the the vessels that are weak the broken vessels but may we see the vessel that is perfect which is your son lord i thank you that we will know you more we will know you more reveal yourself to us in the passing of your son through your word in jesus mighty name amen and amen thank you so much eh asihlanganeni kusasa and zoba mo earlier i was too busy today and uh, those are basically thinking what is available truth about tithe and offering thank you so much uh, get it